now going to talk you through a few other characteristics of autism, particularly prevalent in children, that other neurotypical people need to be aware of. Lack of eye contact. I was constantly being told as a child to look at people in the face when they're speaking to me. I didn't actually like looking at somebody's face when they were talking to me. It would prove distracting because I would focus on the details of someone's face rather than their facial expression as a whole. So instead of thinking, wow, he's got a big nose, <laughs> it was better for me to not look at their face altogether. However, other people think that I'm not listening and they think that I'm being rude, even though I actually am listening and can regularly repeat exactly what people tell me. The strategy which my speech and language therapist came up with was to look at somebody's mouth instead of their eyes. This meant that if it was a noisy environment, I could try and lip-read someone and still have an idea of what they were saying. Given this purpose, I was more able to concentrate on what the other person was saying to me. And they knew that I was listening because I was looking at their face, rather than looking out the window or examining their big nose. <laughs> Autistic people also tend to be brutally honest, which can come across as being tactless, rude or blunt. I heard a joke the other day. So a man went to an interview, and about halfway through, the boss asked him, what do you consider your biggest weakness to me? The man replied, honesty. The boss inquired, I didn't see how honesty could be a weakness. To which the man replied, I couldn't care less about what you think. <laughs> 